According to some reports released in the fall of 2020, common knowledge about the Holocaust is on the decline, and this is happening at the same time that Holocaust deniers are becoming more assertive online. Well, in order to help combat this, a group of History YouTube channels has come together to create this playlist about the history of anti-Semitism and the Holocaust, Project Shoah. And my contribution to this playlist is answering the question, how do we know that 6 million Jews died in the Holocaust? The death toll of 6 million Jews is one of the most widely known facts about the Holocaust, even if that knowledge is slipping with younger generations. Well, it's the accuracy of that number that is most commonly attacked. Since Arthur Butz's 1976 book, The Hoax of the 20th Century, creating doubt about that 6 million number has been the tip of the spear of Holocaust denial. If they can get someone to question that number, they insert more wedges between a person's perception of reality and the facts. And the really insidious thing about this tactic is that, in a different context, it's a perfectly legitimate line of questioning. Someone claims that there are hundreds of communist spies hiding in the government, or that thousands of people illegally voted in an election. In this context, it's perfectly appropriate to ask the questions of who counted them? What are your sources? Who could have possibly pulled something off that big? And there are perfectly reasonable answers to these questions in regards to the Holocaust. Problem is, most people don't know these answers. Like with most other historical events, most people don't have above a Cliff Notes level of understanding of them. But they presume that somebody must know. But the Holocaust denier will take this lack of knowledge and exploit it. Now, even if you have the knowledge and can answer their questions, that's not necessarily going to change their mind. But having this knowledge yourself can help protect you from their tricks. Okay then, so how exactly do we know that six million Jews died in the Holocaust? Well, the first thing we should understand is that that six million number is an approximation. We will never know the exact death toll. There is a myth about the Nazis being highly efficient and bureaucratic, keeping diligent records. This is definitely a myth that the Nazis would have wanted us to believe about them, and it's useful fodder for deniers. The Nazis always kept diligent records, but we don't have records for all those deaths. Therefore, the numbers are not reliable. Here's the thing, though. This myth is partially true, at least for Jews rounded up in Germany and Western Europe. These records are pretty thorough. However, things get more complicated in Eastern Europe. From June of 1941 through May of 1945, Eastern Europe was an active front in the war, and therefore there was a lot of confusion. The Nazis had specially designated divisions, the Einsatzgruppen, who were sent to carry out the final solution in the Soviet Union. They were killing hundreds of thousands of Jews at a time, and leaving them in mass graves. They weren't keeping a careful count. On top of the poor record keeping on the Eastern Front, the record keeping began to fall apart in the later half of 1944, when most of the Nazi high command saw the writing on the wall that they were going to lose. Furthermore, we were never supposed to know about the Holocaust in the first place. The Nazi plan was to use the fog of war in order to orchestrate a genocide that would be difficult to track. Well, in October of 1943, Heinrich Himmler, head of the SS, gave a speech to SS officers in Poland in which he described his plans for the public knowledgeability of the Holocaust. I am talking about the evacuation of the Jews, the extermination of the Jewish people. To have seen this through, and with exception of human weakness, to have remained decent, has made us hard, and is a page of glory never mentioned, and never to be mentioned. The Nazis knew that they were going to cover this up, and as the Allies began surrounding them, they did everything they could to destroy the evidence. First, they destroyed documents and later destroyed the gas chambers. They destroyed the gas chambers at Auschwitz as they retreated from the Soviets in order to deprive the Allies any evidence of their crimes. But luckily, there were survivors who could attest to those atrocities. Okay, so I've explained the difficulties in calculating an exact death toll for the Holocaust. But if the difficulties are so great, then how are we so certain of that 6 million figure? Well, there are two main ways we do it. And firstly, the source comes from the Nazis. As the war neared its end, the Soviet, British, and American armies captured Nazi and other Axis power archives, which contained documentation of various levels of detail surrounding the deportation of Jews from their homes to concentration camps. But the other sources come straight from the mouths of Nazis. In November of 1945, a member of the Austrian Nazi party, Dr. Wilhelm Holtel, filed an affidavit regarding a conversation he had with Adolf Eichmann a year prior. Holtel was a historian by training, receiving a doctorate in history from the University of Vienna. He was later employed in Germany's Central Intelligence and Security Agency. Although he wasn't involved with the implementation of the Final Solution, he did frequently interact with those who were, including Eichmann, who was the head of the Jewish section of the Gestapo, 
In the affidavit, he said this. Approximately 4 million Jews had been killed in the various concentration camps, while an additional 2 million met death in other ways, the major part of which were shot by operational squads of the security police during the campaign against Russia. According to my knowledge, Eichmann was at that time the leader of the Jewish section of the Gestapo, and in addition to that, he had been ordered by Himmler to get a hold of the Jews in all European countries and to transport them to Germany. Eichmann was then very much impressed with the fact that Romania had withdrawn from the war in those days. Moreover, he had come to me to get information about the military situation, which I received daily from the Hungarian Ministry of War and from the commander of the Waffen-SS in Hungary. He expressed his conviction that Germany had now lost the war, and that he personally had no further chance. He knew that he would be considered one of the main war criminals by the United Nations since he had millions of Jewish lives on his conscience. I asked him how many that was, to which he answered that although the number was a Great Reich secret, he would tell me since I, as a historian, would be interested, and that he would probably not return from his command in Romania. He later wanted to know the exact number of Jews who had been killed. This affidavit would later be used in both the Nuremberg trials against the Nazi war criminals, as well as the 1961 Adolf Eichmann trial in Israel. Eichmann was a pretty high-ranking Nazi tasked with rounding up the Jews, so he was in a position to have the general numbers at his disposal. When I started researching this topic, I assumed that it probably took them longer to discover that 6 million figure, but as it turns out, they had it before the war was even over. Which inclines me to think that the estimate for the deaths from the Holocaust is probably higher than 6 million. But then again, this number came from just one Nazi official. So, how exactly could Holocaust historians corroborate what Hotel told them? This is where the Nazi archives come into play. Among the archives captured by the Allies was a 16-page report commissioned by Heinrich Himmler. In 1943, SS statistician Dr. Richard Koher calculated that between 1937 and 1942, the number of Jews in Europe had fallen by 4 million. And between October 1939 and December 1942, 1.27 million Jews had been processed at the camps in Poland. The report did not include Jews killed in Russian territory due to a lack of data. According to the Korher report, two-thirds of the Jewish victims had already been killed by January 1943, two and a half years before the war was over. Okay then, so how do we account for the other two million Jews killed on the Eastern Front? To do this, we look at census data from before the war, along with demographic studies conducted after the war. In 1933, there were approximately 9.5 million Jews living in Europe which comprised about 1.7% of the population. By 1950, there were only 3.5 million. Two-thirds of the Jewish population of Europe were wiped out. They went from representing 60% of the world's Jewish population to one-third, with the majority of the world's remaining Jews living in the Western Hemisphere. After the war, hundreds of thousands left Europe to make their lives in the Americas, the British Commonwealth countries, and Israel. If you would like to take a look at this data for yourself, all of my sources for this video can be found in the description below. And this video, along with all the others in this playlist, are probably going to get demonetized. And so, if you could support this video and the others by giving them a like, leaving a comment, and subscribing to their respective YouTube channels, that would be greatly help. You could also financially assist them by giving to Patreon, PayPal donations, buying merch, or trying out the products and services of their sponsors. And you could do the same thing for this video as well, but I would like to present an alternative. Instead of doing that for this video, if you could instead go to the US Holocaust Memorial Museum website and leave a donation, that would be greatly appreciated as well. A link to that can be found in the description below. But don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment on this video, as well as subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos come out. And make sure you check out the rest of the playlist for Project Shoah. This is some really important stuff, and it's some really good work out there. You should really check it out. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.